Hey traders, Akil Stokes here and welcome back to another episode of the Trading Coach Podcast. Your weekly source for motivation, inspiration, encouragement, empowerment, and of course, helpful tips in the world of trading. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the subject of backtesting and why you shouldn't be in a rush to get started. Trust me, I, I learned that lesson the very hard way. We're also going to talk about how trading is a skill, how in order to, uh, I guess, reap the benefits of that skill, it takes an investment in time and an investment in yourself. So pretty jam-packed episode for you. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in a little bit. I guess that's why trading is so hard. Yeah, it's simple, but not easy. Trading is very simple. It just isn't easy at all. It just isn't easy. It takes a, it like any, like anything of worth. It takes a massive amount of work to get good at it. I, I look. It took me so long to learn how to dribble with my left hand. I was a point guard point guard growing up in uh, in basketball, and I couldn't dribble with my left hand. And it got to the point, my coaches like they started game planning against me. I had to learn. And I remember going outside, you know, every day and doing like 30 minutes of just left hand dribbling, left hand passing, left hand dribbling, left hand passing. And for the longest time, it's like, man, this just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Like, I'm not getting any better. And then like anything, before you know it, it's like, hey, 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 this actually feels kind of comfortable. So I, there's no it's the time frame is going to be different for each for each person. Everyone develops habits differently. Everyone takes in knowledge differently. You just got to keep working on it until it gets better. And once it gets better, keep working on it still so you don't lose it. I broke my right arm and didn't have a choice. Nice. Well, not nice, but nice outcome. But then that would affect my back testing result because I tested the way it sees now. Uh, tested the way I see it now. Correct. Yeah. Which is why I always say, right? Don't do back testing and, until you're until you're ready. Until you're ready. I restarted my back testing. I, I restarted my back testing probably about three or four times per thing I back tested. That's one of the reasons I got so good at training my RAS because I I would back test something and then I noticed something and I'd be like, uh, start over. And I back tested it again, and I'd be like, huh, what about this? And I'd start over. So I started back testing because I wanted the result. Right? Anybody been there? Anybody, anybody, most of you guys, not you guys, but most traders out there don't even know what back testing is. They have no intentions of back testing at all. Then once you do understand back testing, one of the biggest things is people try to rush it. Where it's like, okay, I know I have to back test before I can trade it. I really want to trade this thing, so I'm going to back test it right away. A lot of you guys do that with um, pattern formations. A lot of traders flock to pattern formations, right? It's funny, right? Because they're advanced pattern formations, as we call them. But a lot of newer traders flock to them. And the reason traders flock to advanced pattern formations is because it gives them a lot of, it eliminates a lot of the subjectivity in the market. It gives you guys some very strict rules on how to trade something. So you like it because you're like, hey, strict rules. I can't make as many mistakes. You know, reading price action is hard, even though it's the basics. It is hard. I'm going to go with this. And you may not admit this, but I know it's true. A lot of you guys are already under the assumption that advanced pattern formations are profitable. Why? Because your trading coaches and your trading mentors trade them. And well, Akil and Jason wouldn't trade them if they weren't profitable. A lot of your members on the trading chat right in our community they trade them well these guys wouldn't trade them if they're not profitable so you already go in with the mindset that it is profitable am i wrong i know i'm right you don't even have to answer i know i'm right you already think it's profitable so instead of back testing for the process you're back you're, you're treating your back testing like it's a homework assignment like it's something it's a task i just i have to do it I'm not back testing because I want to discover something. This is for the majority of traders, not all of you. But I'm not back testing because I want to discover something, because I want to test something. I'm back testing because Akil and Jason say I have to do it before I can trade.
So you're not back testing for the right reasons. You're back. It's just a, a means. You have you, you have to do it. Again, that's that's how I was in school. I did not care about school one bit. Certain classes I cared about. The majority of my class I didn't care about. So I, w I was that I was that student in school that did just enough to get a B. That's fine with that. I was fine with C's until my parents took away my stuff. And I was fine with B's. So I would do, I would do just enough. I'll hand this homework. I'll do I'll get just enough questions right to get a B. I'll study just enough so I can pass it. And then, you know, whatever. Who cares? A lot of you guys are doing that. And unfortunately, a lot of traders that do that, either A, they get poor results in their testing and they can't figure out why their results are different from another trader's results. Or they get okay results, they trade it live, they start losing money live because they actually haven't worked on the skill of trading like they thought they have. They, they thought they did because they just did the work, but they didn't really do the work. So I had to do back testing multiple times. I know Gabrielle was one that did back testing. I don't know how many times because every time she would do it, she would find something and then she had to go back and test it all. And, it, and it, again, it, 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 it stinks, man. I don't know, I don't know what to say. But you really want to make sure you're you're you want to make sure you're ready before you back test. Back testing is a massive investment in time. And you want to make sure that you really, really, really are ready before you embark in that journey. And the problem is not the problem, but here's what's going to happen. Like Latch mentioned, you're going to get I mean, as you back test, you're going to get better. At the skill of whatever you're doing, at least you should be if you're back testing the right way. As you evolve as a trader, you're going to get better, and your your views may change on the market. One of my biggest views was what: the more time structure gets hit, the more powerful structure is. I had I had that view all the way up until about 2015. When I did all of my back testing, right, I took that into account. That view has changed. So you evolve as a trader, you get you you get better. Define ready. Whew. That's tough. What's a rules based rules based term for ready? It's tough because uh, each time you do it, even when you're not ready, you're gonna you're gonna think you're ready. And you only, I think you only realize you're not ready when you're proven that you're not ready. It's weird. Like, you, I don't think you know. Another sports analogy, because that's, that's, that's what I come from. It's like, You get your chance with a team. You've been practicing the entire time. You think you're ready because you're confident in yourself. And you go out there and you get dismantled by your opponent and you realize, oh, I wasn't ready. And you don't, you don't know that until you, you, you take the test and you fail it. You don't know that. You didn't know the material. In most cases, you can study your behind off. And if you still fail the test, that's when you, that's when you realize, hey, I'm not ready. So it, it's one of those things where, I mean, you go through the right process. You, 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 you. Follow kind of the guidelines and the path that we laid out for you guys. But a lot of it's going to depend on what happens when you take the test. And the test is the markets. Are you ready to trade? Well, I guess that's a question that will never be answered until you actually dip your feet in the water and go for it. I can tell you this, we are all going to struggle. There will always be obstacles. But if you approach it and set yourself up the right way, you have a much greater chance for success. Speaking of success, this podcast has been a massive success and it's all because of you guys. So keep it up, keep sharing, keep liking, keep rating, keep leaving me reviews, and I will keep coming back each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with more episodes of the Trading Coach Podcast.